We are so close to so many dramatic breakthroughs against diseases that threaten our lives and our future. If we invest in research now, we will save trillions of dollars later. Jeffrey Bean measures success by how much it gives away. And spirited public service campaigns that shine a spotlight on researchers, those rock stars of science. The people who are in research are really the rock stars. Now, uh, you were on the set with Cheryl Crow. There were no mics. Can you share the conversation between a scientist and a rock star? I'm sorry, our conversations are totally private. I will never live this down. We thought it was pretty funny to have neurologists acting out with rock stars. That's not what we do. But what I see in this campaign is an opportunity for the general public uh, to get a sense that science is exciting. <laughs> These guys are, are the rock stars of their fields, and they don't get the support that they need. Hopefully this isn't the last time uh, we celebrate scientists, doctors, in a way that uh, puts them in the light of a rock star. The goal, obviously, is to put science, scientists, right back uh, in the heart of our public culture where they belong. We want these uh, cures, these uh, treatments, these tests, these diagnostics to be available to people. Politics is a huge, huge problem. It doesn't lend itself to long-term commitments. This finding today is a step, an important step in that direction. When you're trying to figure out how to do a scientific experiment, to me it's almost the same as when you're improvising on the piano. It's almost exactly the same feeling. We have the tools now to be able, in a comprehensive fashion, to understand all of the ways in which a good cell goes bad. So imagine, if you will, a time where we do have targeted therapeutics for most cancers.